What's up guys? It's Nick from Mining Office and we're back. It's been a long time, but here we are. Not too much has changed in the office. As you can see, the setup is still the same. I have a few more GPUs, but before we get into that, um, I'm gonna give you guys a little update on what's been going on. So, for the last few months, basically, uh, I've been looking for a new place to live and obviously a new place to move this mining office to. Luckily, despite the insane market, we actually found something. Uh, it was very time consuming, very energy consuming, and it was exhausting. Uh, all my effort went into that. I was very busy with work and I also had a minor surgery. So I took the time off from YouTube. I didn't want to deliver half-ass content. Uh, so I decided to take the time off, rest, recover, deal with what I had to deal with. And like I said, now we're back. So in this video, we're going to be covering the latest version of T-Rex Miner, which is 25.12. Uh, I'm actually refilming this because the audio quality was really bad when I filmed it with my phone. So this version has the 80% unlock uh, and 75% if you want the low power mode. Uh, so obviously, this is why we're testing it out. You're getting more hash rate for that same power consumption. Uh, a few things to note is that you can remove the LHR tune parameter. It is no longer needed and your cards will basically be auto-tuned and calibrated. Um, for the recommended driver on Linux, it recommends 470 or newer and on Windows 512. So on all my Windows devices, uh, I'm using 512 and up. And uh, Linux, you'll see, well, I'll even update it to newer than this to try with the latest uh, on my OctoMiner. One final thing is that they recommend you don't have any monitors connected to your cards, um, or at least to turn them off while it's calibrating because or else that might mess it up a bit. Being honest, most of my cards are plugged in, like in both of my computers, and it doesn't seem to change that much, but obviously if you can, uh, try and respect this. So, that's about it. Now, if we take a quick look at my T-Rex Miner currently running, it's 25.9 as you can see there. These are the hash rates we're getting. Uh, the 23070s are full hash rates, so you can forget those, but the 3080 is getting about 72 mega hash. Uh, the 3070 Ti's are getting about 58, 59. We also have the 3060 Ti getting about 43 to 44 mega hash. So, that's our baseline. We're gonna go ahead and update to the new T-Rex Miner and see what we get. All right, so I just started up the latest version. We'll let it uh, tune and stabilize. In the meantime, I just wanna show you guys on my 3060, which I have running on this PC, look what we're getting here. 39 mega hash, man. This used to run on the old T-Rex minor version at like 36 and a half. Now it's 39, 39, almost 40 mega hash. And on the latest LOL miner, which had a similar unlock, this is only getting like 38 stably. So uh, yeah, I'll show you that when we go into Hive OS onto the Octo miner, but I'm, I'm really hyped because this T-Rex miner is my favorite miner. You guys already know that. And again, it seems to be the most performing one. Uh, I switched to LOL miner on this because obviously I was getting more mega hash but I really prefer T-Rex. Okay, so you can see the targets that it's setting and also there is a calibration that happens. So it recommends not plugging in any HDMI or display port um, to a screen. Unfortunately, my 3060 Ti is displaying out, so it might have slightly decreased hash rate compared to the rest here. Um, and they recommend to do that during the calibration phase, all right? So anyway, just a little side note there. So we'll let this run for a little bit and we'll see what mega hashes we get. Guys, I'm blown away. Look at these results. 36 60 Ti, 47 mega hash, 3080, 77 mega hash, 3070 Ti, 63, 64 mega hash. Wow, that's the first time I've seen a 3070 Ti above what a full hash rate 3070 can do. So I'm really impressed. And all my settings, by the way, are exactly the same. The same overclocks, the same power limits, everything. So this is literally just updating the driver versions and the T-Rex miner. So really, really impressive. So now on to the Octo miner. I'm going to switch on over to my computer, update to the new Hive OS version that has the latest T-Rex miner available, and then we'll update and test compared to LOL miner. So this test was compared to the previous T-Rex version, and this test here will be compared to LOL miner. All right, so I just want to show you guys currently what's going on in my Hive OS. Uh, I have multiple miners going, but all my LHR cards are using the latest LOL miner, which has a similar unlock. So you can see here my 3060 is at 38 mega hash, my other uh, 3060 is at 37 and a half more or less. Uh, my third 3060 is at 38, and my 3070, though it has a few invalid shares, is uh, hashing around 47 mega hash. So, uh, all pretty decent results, better than the previous version of T-Rex Miner. 
Um, however, we're going to try the new version uh, on Hive OS like we did on Windows. So, two things we're going to do first. You can see here my driver versions are actually not correct. I have NVIDIA 495.46, so we're going to update that. And of course, we're going to update to the latest Hive OS version, which has the T-Rex miner we need. So, let me go do that and I will check back with you guys. All right, so here we are on Hive OS with the updated drivers and Hive version, obviously, uh, using the new T-Rex. So one thing I try to specify is that theoretically for Linux, which is Hive OS, uh, the previous drivers we had were okay because it was over 470, right? But I just wanted to update it to the newest version anyway, so I just wanted to specify that. And if we look at the cards here, I can already see a very, very nice increase. So just rapidly, look, we're about at 330 mega hash for the OptiMiner rig. And right now we're at 336 mega hash, all right? So six mega hash gain, let's see where that is. Uh, my EVGA 3060s are at 39 mega hash. That's really, really nice. And my Zotac one is lagging a bit behind at 38 and a half. I have my 3060 Ti, which I actually forgot to mention before, which is running at 47 and a half. And my 3070 is uh, 47 and a half as well. So yeah, you can see the 3070 gets a little more mega hash than the 3060 Ti, but also consumes less watts. So that's where the difference is between those two cards. Um, honestly, really, really great results. Like I said, on a 330 mega hash rig, I'm gaining six mega hash. And I mean, look, one of these cards here is a uh, AMD card and three of these are non LHR. So don't really count. So I mean, over five cards, I've gained six mega hash. I'll take it. That's extremely good in my book. And I'm really, really happy with those results, guys. So test it on both Windows and Linux. Uh, this T-Rex update is massive. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, it beats Low Miner, and obviously it's better than the previous version of T-Rex. So go ahead, guys, and update your T-Rex Miner version. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you get similar results. I'll see you guys next time. Mining Office out.